hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here this follows on we have a raised to power m plus n is same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n as this here we have 4 raised to power x times 4 squared equals to 60 on this side as this here we can express this as 4 raised to power x times 4 square 4 times 4 that's 16 equals to 60 on this side then here we divide both side by 16 that is divide this side by 16 also divide this side by 16 that is here 16 cancelled each other and we have 4 raised to power x equals to 60 over 16 then also here we can express it as 4 raised to power x equals to 4 times 15 over 4 times 4. That is here 4 cancelled each other. And we have 4 raised to power x equals to 15 over 4 on this side. Then next step here we take the log on both sides. Here we have log. 4 raised to the power x equals to log 15 over 4 on this side. That is, here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this is the same thing as p log m. This here we have x log 4 equals to log 15 over 4 here. Then, next step here, we divide both sides by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4. Which implies here, log 4 cancelled each other here. Then we have x equals to log 15 over 4. Then, divided by log 4. Then, here we apply the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, this is same thing as log a minus log b. As this here we have x equals to log 15 minus log 4 over log 4. At this here, Separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 15 over log 4 minus log 4 over log 4, which implies here log 4 cancel each other. We have one less. That is, here we have x equals to log 15 over log 4 minus 1. Then from here, we can write 15 as 3 times 5. And what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 times 5 over log 4 minus 1. Then this follows the law of logarithm. What we have log a times b. This same thing as log a plus log b that is here we have x equals to log 3 plus log 5 over log 4 minus 1 then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus 1. Then, here we can also write 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 square. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 2 square plus log 5 over log 2 square minus 1. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here and also here. Then we have x equals to 
log three over two log two plus log five over two log two minus one which implies here yeah, we can write that x equals to one over two log three over log two plus one over two log five over log two minus one then here we apply change of this when we have log a over log b it's the same thing as log a to base b and what we have here becomes x equals to one over two log three base two plus one over two log five base two minus one now we can bring this together as one fraction we have x equals to the SCM here. That's 2. Here we have 2. And what we have becomes log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2, then minus 2 here now. That is the value of x here we have. x equals to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 2 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 2 all over 2. And what we have here becomes 4 raised to power log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 2 all over 2. Then we have plus 2 here. This is equals to 60 on this side. That is, from here, we bring this power together as on this 2 over 1. We have 4 raised to power SCM up here. That's 2. Here we still have log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 2. Then we have plus 4 now. Is this equals to 60 on this side? Then, yeah, 4 minus 2, that's 2. You can say 4 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Is this equal to 60 on this side? Then okay. here we can express 4 as 2 square, which is raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. This is equal to 60 on this side. This here, this one multiplies and we have 2 here cancelled each other. What we have becomes 2 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 oh, is it equals to 60 on this side then here we apply log indices when we have a raised to power n plus n this same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n and this here we have 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 is it equals to 60 on this side then 2 raised to power 2 here 4 then times this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b and this here we have 3 then times here 5 is it equals to 60 on this side and 4 times 3 12 12 times 5 that's 60 which is equals to 60 from here left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude here that x equals to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 2 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.